Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, in today's video, we are going to be talking about some insider secrets about how the furniture industry works. This is the stuff that the retailers don't want you to know because I think this is a super interesting like secret, something that is known throughout the interior design, home decor sort of industry. Maybe not well known, but I don't feel like people know about it or they're not talking about it enough, but we're gonna talk about it here. And I really do think that not only is this interesting insider knowledge that makes you a more informed consumer, but you're also gonna save hundreds of dollars, that's not a joke, hundreds of dollars on the same piece of furniture. So what is the secret? It is that a lot of furniture that you find and home decor that shows up in the shops, the retailers that you love is white labeled. So let's talk about white labeling furniture. What is it? So white labeling just means that a manufacturer, usually overseas, is going to create these furniture pieces, not with the intention of selling them directly to you, but what they do is they design and manufacture at scale. So they manufacture a lot of these pieces and then they sell to distributors or other retailers that then will turn around and sell to you. So what does that mean? It means that the furniture pieces that you see that arrive at your favorite retailers are white labeled and thus they are the same pieces, not dupes, the same pieces that will show up on another shelf at a different retailer, oftentimes at very different price points. Now I'm not saying by the way, these are like scams necessarily. They are the same pieces at different price points, but there's a lot that goes into a buying decision. It could be, you know, if they have a, a retail presence, so not just e-commerce, but if they have an in-store experience, a return policy, branding, photography, customer service, aftercare, like there's a lot that goes into why you would choose to buy from a certain retailer. So it's not necessarily like they're scamming you out of your money. It's a different value proposition that you're getting from one retailer to the next. Having said that, it is still the exact same product coming off the exact same assembly line in China or Vietnam or somewhere else in the world that is a very different price point depending on where you buy it from. So let's go through some examples and I'm gonna prove it to you. So first let's pull up a website called Spoken.io. I think there are other ones that are out there but this is the one that I use that I think is really cool and we're going to go through and see different products. So you can see right here we've got a bunch of different products that are you know a bunch of different retailers that you know Lulu in Georgia, Target, Joss in Maine, Wayfair, Bloomingdale's, you're seeing lots of different retailers that you might know that are all doing this, that are all buying white labeled furniture from overseas and just renaming it, reskinning it, that are taking brand new photos, whatever, to make it look like it's kind of uniquely their own, but it's not. Let's take a look at this chair here, right? I've got this chair from Urban Outfitters, okay? Urban Outfitters, great retailer. We recommend them all the time. They, I notice, really love to re photograph a lot of the stuff that comes in from these white labeled products because they have a certain aesthetic that they have on their website, right? It has a very sort of boho, chic, neutral, Coachella sort of vibe that I feel like Urban Outfitters has been using for a long time. And that's why they kind of photograph a lot of these products that they make look unique and very Urban Outfitters-y, but actually is also, you know, in lots of other retailers that you can find oftentimes at cheaper prices. Let's talk about that. So here we've got the Claudia woven chair. It is $740. $49 at Urban Outfitters. But then over at a retailer called Scout and Nimble, you've got the Gia chair for $505. That's a huge jump. There's about set $250 from shopping with Urban Outfitters. But you might be thinking, is this the exact same chair? Yes, this is a white labeled chair. It is the exact same chair. So you can see right here, it says made of natural banana tree bark and Indonesian mahogany. I mean, that is oddly specific, right? It's not necessarily materials that you see all the time put together, but it's the exact same thing on the Urban Outfitters website. They are the exact same chair, dimensions are the same, they might be photographed differently, they have been renamed to make it look like it's an exclusive product to Urban Outfitters, but it's the exact same product for $250 cheaper on Scout and Nimble. So let's talk about what retailers do this. First of all, kind of they all do. I would say like the Restoration Hardwares, the CB2s maybe, you know, maybe even the West Elms, a lot of those guys are designing their own furniture and they might do some white label product. I can't necessarily say they do or they don't, but they are often working with manufacturers to design their own product and that's oftentimes because they have a very specific sort of look and they oftentimes have their own design teams that are designing their own furniture. But who does do it a lot? World Market, Lulu in Georgia, Joss in Maine, Wayfair, uh, as I said, Urban Outfitters, like there's a whole bunch. So if you love to shop at these retailers, definitely want to go to Spoken.io or another similar website because you may find that your favorite retailers like Lulu in Georgia, they sell the exact same product as other retailers for hundreds of dollars more than you can get elsewhere. Again, I don't have anything against these retailers specifically, there's a lot that goes into a purchasing decision, but it is the same product and it is a very different price. Okay, so how do you spot 
bought a white label product. For me, I think there's a few things you're gonna wanna look at, right? First of all, a website like this is very helpful. It ultimately is a tool that is gonna sort of guide you in the right direction, but I would look at dimensions. I would look at country of origin, and I would look at things like the weight, and I would look at the type of wood species or the fabrics that they're using. So some of the legal things like country of origin, you can't really fake. So like if it says that it's made in Indonesia and it's a very similar product that's also made in Indonesia and it has the same dimensions and the same weight and they look the same, they're probably the same. If one says that it's made in China and the other one says that it's made, you know, in Pakistan or it's made somewhere else or wherever, probably not white labeled. So really just kind of dig into a lot of those details there and determine if it is the exact same product because I don't want you to go, well, Nick Lewis said that this is clearly white labeled. And then you find out, oh, actually they're different products from different places. And there's a good reason why one can be a couple hundred dollars more than another. Okay. I think it's also really important for me to take the opportunity here to mention that I think everybody should do their own due diligence and don't always just take my word for it. I'm sort of using my best judgment here as well um, in using the tools and the websites that I have on the internet to basically determine if I think these are the same product. I cannot guarantee they are the same product. So please keep that in mind when we're going through some of these examples, right? And if you're a retailer, you know, please don't sue me. But let's go through some other examples. So this Consuela side table here from France and Sons is $3,787. But over here at Lulu in Georgia, the Vedima console table is $4,098. Pretty big difference for a console table, especially since it is the same one. So another good example here, the Ramina solid wood bench, $1,439.99 over on Joss in Maine. Great. But we have the Fox bench, which is over here at Burke Decor. And it is, I mean, that photo looks the exact same to me. I don't know about you. And this one is coming in at $959.20. So listen, you might choose to shop at Joss in Maine because you like to shop there. It's a great retailer, right? They got great products. It's part of Wayfair's, you know, you got this stellar return policy, right? Like Wayfair will take anything back. Of course, we all know that it's a reputable brand. You may have not purchased from Burke Decor before and you might be uncomfortable with that. I get it. You know, obviously do your due diligence here, but $500 is $500 and I would bet anything this is the exact same product. 500 bucks different. That's crazy. And again, it's not just retailers that you've never heard of. It's going to be different retailers that you have heard of that you shop all the time that are white labeling product. Here's a really good example of a comparison of all modern, again, part of Wayfair versus Target. This white chair also comes in. It's like a natural, a white and natural also comes in a brown also comes in a black it sells right here at all modern for $630 for this chair pretty steep and then over on target you've got it for $381.99 exact same chair these are retailers that you know this is not some sort of sketchy website you've never been to before although you know worth checking out those two this is target $381 that's crazy. Okay, let's also talk about these concrete accent tables. I found these. This is an interesting one because I wanted to touch on a company called Forehands because Forehands, I bet you that you've never heard of Forehands before. I don't think it's like a, a name brand that everybody has necessarily heard of, but I bet you've definitely seen their furniture before and you might even own it and have it in your own home because Forehands, it's a distributor, I think that has a lot of really close relationships with these retailers. And so they've really designed a line that is very kind of contemporary and works really beautifully with a lot of contemporary design right now. So you see a lot of retailers leaning on forehand stuff and they do whitelist their products. If you go to forehand's website, you can check it out for yourself. They have a very substantial trade program. I assume they sell a lot to designers as well, but they also do a lot of white label products. So they will sell to the retailers that you know of. So even if you don't know forehand's, you might even buy forehand's furniture and not even know it through retailers like Target and Lulu and Georgia and whatever. So here's these concrete side tables, right? You've got the Ravine which is $279.20 over at Burke Decor again. And then you go over here and you've got the Raven. I mean, come on, Lulu in Georgia. You didn't even try that hard. You just changed a few letters. But the Raven is $349. So that's kind of a quick savings of about $70. That's crazy. And it's the exact same concrete side tables. Joss and Main has the Rivera end tables, $230. Totally Furniture, not a website that I've ever really been to, not a furniture I've bought from before, but $128.99. World Market, I know so many of you love World Market. They also white label a lot of furniture. Here we got a couple of examples, right? We got this mid-century dresser here. You've also got Totally Furniture sells this for $385.19. These are massive price jumps for the same furniture that you can find online. If you just do a little bit of homework, you do your due diligence, you look at different retailers, you use the tools that are available now, you can actually just kind of go down the rabbit hole a little bit as I have. It's been kind of a long day doing this. It's been crazy. I've just been like hunting around this website, seeing if I can find 
whatever furniture that I can because it's so fascinating to see how you can get wildly different price points by just shopping around a little bit. It's crazy. I also just want to add too that these are not dupes, right? Like I think we get so caught up in these dupes where you've got like a really, really fancy retailer where there's going to be like a massive jump in quality and then you've got sort of a more accessible retailer that's doing sort of a knockoff or an inspired purchase, an inspired design that's a little bit different than the high-end retailer. And you know, that's not what we're talking about here, right? We're not talking about a restoration hardware dupe that you can find at Ikea and it's totally not the same. And we know it's not the same, but you know, while the different price points for different quality items, that's not really what's going on here. These are the same products from the same manufacturers, just at different retailers at different prices. So here, for example, we've got the Article Seni, which is a great chair. In fact, it's the chair that I'm sitting in right now. And then you've got West Elm, you've got the Xander, which I think we can agree is a very similar chair. It's a, you know, similar design. I don't know, maybe who's copied who, someone's copied somebody, who even knows. But the Xander here goes for a very similar price point to Article, but there are some differences, right? They've got a different base. The cushions are slightly different. These are not the same chair. So although those are not the same, that's not what white labeling is. But with white labeling, it is the same product. And I hope you've really enjoyed this sort of behind the scenes that I've given you of like a peek behind the curtain at how the furniture industry is done. Cause I think it's very, very fascinating to see how different prices for the same stuff can arrive at different retailers. I find that to be absolutely fascinating. And I hope I've empowered you and given you some tools so that you can shop around a little bit more and get better quality furniture at a better price. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you'll stick around. If you've never seen my videos before, I talk a lot about interior design and home decor here. So if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Or here you can watch another video too. Thanks. See you in the next one.